Most of us attend online meetings these days, whether it is using Zoom, WebEx or some other online platform. The first thing other participants notice about you is the quality of your camera. Now I'm recording this using a fairly high-end Logitech webcam, the Logitech Brio 4K. And the quality, I must say, is pretty good. But what if we could change a web camera from this to this? Hi, my name is Kajitan Bareto, and I'm shooting this video using my Nikon D800 and no additional hardware, just the cable that came with the camera. Let me show you how. Now what I have here with me is my Nikon D800 camera fitted with the 50mm lens. I also have a different lens when I want a different perspective, maybe a wider shot. And the cable that came with the camera, a USB cable. The next thing we need is a software that can turn the camera into a virtual webcam. We are going to use a software called SparkoCam. Now SparkoCam is compatible with both Nikon as well as Canon. And if you click on the buy button, we can see they have different licensing models. The one that I need is for Nikon. They also have a free version, but I don't recommend that because they put a big logo in front of the video feed, making the video feed almost unusable. Once you download the software, this is what you get. Now, since I have purchased the license for the Nikon camera, once I click on this button, the software automatically detects that the camera is connected and brings the live feed from the camera straight onto the screen and that's all there is to it now i can control the parameters of the camera straight from the application itself if i want to increase the iso for example to 400 it will increase the iso thereby making the image brighter if i want to change the aperture you can do it straight from the application itself now how do we use this image as a web camera in Zoom. When you launch the Zoom application, you can find an arrow next to the stop video button. Click on it and you can see now that the Sparkle Cam video appears as a virtual web camera. Click on it and the video changes to the Nikon video. Now you have a DSLR as a web camera. Enjoy! There are two things you need to consider when using a DSLR as your webcam. The first thing is the battery. Now, most batteries will last somewhere between 30 minutes to one hour, which means if you're planning to have a meeting that's longer than that, your webcam would stop in the middle of the meeting. How you can solve that problem is to buy one of these dummy batteries that you get on eBay, which provide continuous power to your camera. The second consideration relates to your camera settings. Make sure that your live display, which is what is shown on the screen, doesn't turn off after a set amount of time. And that can be changed by going to your settings, timer display, and put it to never. And that's all there is to it.